So you guys really liked my last video, so I guess Viking Lore YouTube is now a thing. Now this video is not a gameplay video, this is um, something that a lot of people a lot of people complain about. And uh, there's also a lot of people that like it, but it's a very controversial topic within the community, and that's the Game Pass pricing now. I'll be giving my opinion and my perspective and my reasoning behind, um, quote, making the Game Passes overpriced. Now in my opinion, they're not particularly overpriced, they're just expensive, um, relative to what other groups might do now there's a reason why the red army is the largest military role play group in roblox after less than one year or a little bit over one year actually now um and it's still as big as as it was when we first released so the primary reason for making game passes expensive um in this particular genre is because um cheap game passes don't do well so if you don't have expensive game passes you won't be getting enough revenue to uh, run ads um, and if you don't run ads your project is not going to grow as fast and if your project doesn't grow fast enough um, it's going to slowly decay and especially when you have a, such a large group as I do if you don't grow the group fast enough it's going to be decaying and you don't want to go backwards you always want to be moving forward so you always got to have a lot of revenue in order to be able to sustain and grow so the bigger your group gets, the harder it gets to grow even more because you need to spend more on ads because people, you know, they recognize your group. So there's more and more people know about it. And yes, a lot of people know about your group, but it's harder to get to the people that don't know your group. So if your group slowly decays, it dies. You know, I've been, I've seen this a lot of times. I've experienced it as well. I have a lot of failed projects where I had cheap game passes and they slowly decayed and ultimately they died out. Um, so my end goal for the Red Army or Soviet Union is to have a sustainable, large and profitable group that is also that also has a friendly community. Now the community aspect is very different from the growth and the uh, the business uh, perspective. So if you don't, if your group is not profitable, it's almost impossible to grow it constantly. Like I am, you guys know me. In one month we got a hundred thousand members. Last month we had five hundred k. Now we have six hundred k. And that's all because of the Game Pass pricings, because I'm able to make enough profit so that I can run ads. Now, I usually run everything from 200,000 Robux to 600,000 Robux per day overall on all my projects. Um, that is why we were able to grow so, so fast. Uh, and I've tried Game Passes before, and it failed. People don't like cheap Game Passes when they're browsing. You might think that, you know, if Game Passes are cheap, people are going to like it, but actually... This is a Game Pass we tried releasing, a cheap knife, and it didn't go well at all. We had 22 sales after like a week or so, and it was like 150. No one bought it. It, was, it wasn't even a bad. The knife is pretty decent. Uh, it didn't make any profit. It made like, I don't even remember how much it made. You can do the math, 150 multiplied by 22. It didn't do well, and a lot of groups um, have failed in the past because their Game Passes were not expensive enough. So they didn't make enough revenue to keep running ads to to sustain their activity and to keep growing. And that's a that's a trap that I'm terrified of falling into. I'm terrified of not being able to make enough money to keep running ads. Because if I stop running ads, over time the group will decay. Um, and obviously I can I can stop running ads for two, three months and it's gonna be alright. But if I stop for that long, or if I stop at all the activity starts to decay the growth decays and eventually it's going to start going downwards downwards and eventually there's a point of no return and when you get to the point of no return your group is dead so that is uh, a short explanation of why i um, price my game passes the way i do and hopefully you can understand that it's not because i'm greedy for the money yes i make a nice salary and i'm able to live and i'm able to buy food and all those things but it's ultimately because I am interested in keeping this group active and growing and I'm not like some kind of evil businessman that does it to rob children out of money because they get what they pay for so it's not a scam it's not nothing like that and I, I mean anyone can see that anyone that uses their head a little bit so I hope this guy uh, this video clears up some things for you guys and uh, I'll I'll be doing a gameplay video soon you guys apparently really liked the last video so yep also, I guess I'm supposed to tell you guys to subscribe and like, so go ahead and just do that. Don't.
uh, it's not it's not that big of a deal but uh, I would appreciate if you liked the video and uh, and subscribed that would have been cool see ya